What's up guys, Mac here, and I can hardly believe it, but Acid Pro 8 is finally out. After waiting what feels like an eternity, I started using Acid with version 3.0, and with this new update, I wanted to make a quick series demonstrating some features that I think make Acid one of the best choices for creatives to this day. So in this series, I'm gonna take a vocal from a song I produced with artist Sam Lewis. I'm gonna chop it up with loops, samples, VST plugins, just to show you the whole nine yards. First things first, I want to line my vocal up with this synth melody I've played in the background. I don't even think about me. So when I open it, this tool called the Beat Mapper pops up, and essentially it detected that the full acapella is very long, and it wants to help us find the tempo. Using the metronome and the grids, I'm letting the tool know how long a measure is, and it will adjust the tempo as I move things around. So it sounds fine to me, I'm just checking to make sure the beat mapper has lined everything up properly, and I'll breeze quickly through the file just to make sure it all stays on beat. So now that my acapella is locked in, I can change the tempo freely. Because I like to stay organized, I actually had the BPM in the file name. So if you already know the tempo, you can just load in your file, cancel beat mapping, and go to clip properties. Now I can change it to that same beat map mode, and under stretch, I type in the tempo, 100 BPM, and you get the same exact result. Now if I were remixing this track, my next move would probably be to mess around with the vocal and do some chopping effects. So for that, I've duplicated the beat mapped vocal and I'm going to be using the chopper tool. So when I drag areas in this chopper, there's an indicator in my timeline telling me where that sound will be inserted. You can do some really creative stuff by jumping around the chopper and making your own loops. All right, not a bad start, but on its own, it's kind of boring. So we're going to elaborate on this pattern by volume and pitch shifting individual chops. When I drag the top of these clips, I'm pulling the volume down. I want this to have a climbing and falling sort of effect. Now by hitting plus or minus, you can change the pitch. So I'm changing up the second sequence to make it more interesting. And you know what? You can actually change the MIDI pitch the same way. So I'm going to easily change the key of both MIDI and samples by highlighting everything and pressing plus once. Now I'm clicking the FX button and I'm actually going to use two effects that come bundled with Acid Pro. I'm using the EFX Phaser and Stereo Delay. I'm also going to use one of my favorite 64-bit third-party plugins, Little Plate. So after adjusting my settings just right, I get this final result. Stay tuned for part two where I will add some percussive elements to this groove. <laughs> 